My name is Emily Evans. I'm from Orlando, Florida, and I recently graduated from Davidson College with a bachelor's degree in history. I'm working as a Mary Wolfskill intern in the manuscript reading room this summer. The manuscript division holds over 73 million items related to American history, and we receive questions from researchers looking for material in these vast holdings. As a fellow in the manuscript reading room, I perform reference interviews, help researchers use tools to locate relevant research material, and pull manuscripts for reading room, reading room use. I also respond to reference questions through our online portal, Ask a Librarian. This often involves helping researchers narrow their research topics and tracking down relevant collections to provide scans or information about the materials. From these reference experiences, I learned how researchers use resources created at the Library of Congress, such as finding aids and libguides. I wanted to make another helpful tool for researchers, so I created a libguide about the manuscript division's resources related to the history of reproductive health. My libguide about the history of reproductive health serves as an entry point for researchers who are interested in the topic. It is not intended to be comprehensive, but to serve as a guide for research. We frequently receive broad reference questions. Researchers may be interested in a historical or cultural topic, but they don't always know where to start. This is the value of a topic-specific libguide. It can provide direction. There are other topical manuscript division libguides, such as guides to LGBTQ plus history and Native American history. While there are vast resources across the Library of Congress that touch on the history of reproductive health, my libguide fills a need by providing a guide to this topic specific to the manuscript division and its holdings. While creating my libguide, I spoke with historical specialists in the manuscript division. They directed me to collections like the Margaret Sanger papers and the Gregory Pincus papers. We also talked about keywords to look for in our catalog records and finding aids related to reproductive health. I then conducted a search within our finding aids database to find relevant collections to list on my libguide. I found more than 20 collections related to reproductive health, which researchers can examine further if they're interested in the topic. I created a general search tips section of my libguide, which included some keywords researchers may not think of or that are not commonly used in contemporary vocabulary, like social hygiene and purity. The libguide also links to other research tools created by the Library of Congress. With over 73 million items in manuscript division collections, beginning research can be daunting. My time answering reference inquiries taught me the value of library created resources for navigating collections. I want to make materials and research more accessible to those who are interested in learning about the history of reproductive health. I hope my LibGuide can serve this purpose and bring more awareness to these materials. I want to thank the sorry, next slide, please. I want to thank the reference team in the manuscript division, especially my mentor Laura, for their guidance in this project. Thank you.